I've been working on this video all summer here. It's now mid-fall. We got a code going. So uh, it took us a couple months to figure it out. So we had a friend figure it out for us, how to get her through emissions and everything, which you're gonna, uh, you'll see it later on. So uh, watch this video. I uh, hope you like it and uh, we'll see you back here in the end. All right, good day. Uh, we got the uh, 2006 Acura RSX. Did a timing chain on it so we could get it through emissions. Didn't make a video of it, but uh, yeah, took it to a mechanic afterward who was still running rough, you know, friend of mine, and he said, uh, yeah, you got a bad. Let's either do a head job, uh, taking the head off, or we can find a new motor for it. You can rebuild one at Napa for $3,700. Or I found one online. So uh, just came yesterday. Let's check it out. All right, she just came in yesterday. Um, we have got her here on a roll around, so we can roll her around. We got to work on her. We already got the we got the wheel off this. We got to put the flywheel on because this this engine had the automatic transmission on. So we just when we get the the old motor out, took the tranny off, put the flywheel on, and that should work so but they just chopped everything off so we gotta work for a while tonight we're gonna we're gonna uh start disassembling all these wires that come up all these to the fuel rail and you know all these all these wires because they chop stuff you know looks like we got some cat help here but yeah we're gonna work on that and then all these all the hoses you can see they just they just chopped everything off so you know, here, and then, I don't know if we're going to replace any of these, these wheels. Yeah, they might be all right. Definitely going to try to brush in some of the rust off. Um, and then, yeah, if you notice here, that's where your air conditioner condenser goes. So I'm going to have to use my air conditioner condenser. But, yeah, big project. And I uh, wanted to show you... Uh, show you what we got going on here 57,000 miles it's gonna be like a brand new car if I can if I can get this to right, work. so we got all the electrical free here as you can see all right we got all the uh finally got the rest of the uh, electrical wires off <clears throat> that were uh on the starter this is what was left on the starter here and the alternator one is off to the side over there but we got that wire off too but we had to take uh this whole uh air intake manifold off and i'm glad we did because i should have made a recording before i poured there was about a cup of water inside of there and turns out there's a solution that they dunk these engines in this while it looks so clean and then there was a lot of there was a lot of sludge in some trying to get you some light so you can see you can see it right in that one there's a um there's some white stuff and i'm gonna take a vacuum i don't know if you can see in there let me get that you see that see right there and that's uh that should be cylinder four right there the other three aren't so bad you can see that but i'm gonna just take a vacuum cleaner and duct tape a straw on it and I'm gonna vacuum all that out because I definitely don't want to start this. Vacuum and all that slug out. We're gonna take our time and be meticulous with it. Alright we uh took a little of some uh, sandpaper so you know light green sandpaper and uh cleaned out this plume that could have been done a little better but there's gonna be a little bit a little bit of that stuff in there but it looks pretty clean and then the valves the valves look the valves look amazing all right you can see that valve that was the worst valve there I'm trying to get it to focus and get the light yeah see that was that was the worst one right there <clears throat> but they all look they all look pretty good i'm gonna feel feel a lot better And that last one there. All right, so we're gonna put this uh, intake plume back on, but you notice there's a stud here and there's a stud here, but what we did is we put these two nuts together 
so we can take the whole stud out because if you're doing this job, you're gonna find right there, hits, it hits right there. And you can see that's where, that was that where the stud, the stud for that one goes. So you gotta pull that whole stud out or you won't have the room. So we'll stick the stud back in. And we're gonna be good to go. And we'll be ready to start taking the old car apart. All right, well, we started taking the car apart today. I've been going for about five hours or so. We got all the electrical taken off here, cleared out. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do an update on what we were doing here. You know, we got this uh, I got a weird ground wire. It goes to this on the, on the tranny right here. Let me get that all in focus. Okay, that's in the focus. Yeah, I just don't want to forget that. So I'm going to make a video of that so I don't forget. Um, we got this air conditioning line here that goes over here. I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe we can spin it, spin it from there. Maybe the line will twist, you know, and just get, get it out of the way when I disconnect the uh, air conditioner unit. But I'm not really sure. I mean, worst case scenario, we just disconnect it and then we have to fill it back up next summer because I won't do it this summer. But uh, yeah, that's about it. We're going to uh, go for a couple more hours today and then tomorrow we'll back her up off the axles out and then we'll get the tractor uh with the bucket and then we'll hook up um some tie downs and then we're right out so kind of excited you know so uh that's about it all right we moved the car back in the driveway so we can get the tractor in here but everything is disconnected uh i just we got a tie down we put around the transmission we're gonna put a couple tie downs in the motor mount there and then we're gonna go get the tractor and uh everything's disconnected so i'm gonna try to keep this air conditioner unit out of the way and pull this out all in one scoop and uh hopefully we'll make a good video for it all right we're all out we used the farm all my father came over operated it my neighbor scotty stopped over and there we are she's completely naked you know so uh, we gotta get this transmission out and uh, put it in the new engine and then we gotta uh, put it in. Thanks to the neighbor for stopping by. Okay, so we got the uh, transmission here. We got it separated from the motor. Uh, we took the flywheel off the old one and we put the uh, flywheel uh, on the new motor and uh, we tore these down. It says 20 foot pounds, but it went, my torque wrench only starts 25 foot pounds so we're right about 25 foot pounds uh so yeah the um the throw out bearing that goes on the shaft probably should be replaced we're 234,000 miles we're gonna do the whole clutch but i ordered i ordered a clutch a new clutch kit from parts geek so, but unfortunately what we found is this new throw out bearing does not fit on the shaft and nor does, nor does this, doesn't go on. So my first problem was ordering something from Parts Geek. Don't ever order anything from Parts Geek. They're giving me the run around. I got to take pictures and send it to send it to them or anything from parts geek i uh, called my credit card company and they snatched my money back so if parts geek wants this back i told them send me a shipping label i will be gladly to mail it back to you so i'm gonna go on to napa tomorrow and i'm probably gonna spend a little more money but i'll get the right part there so um yeah and that's what we got going all right on. we made it down to napa today uh they got me a uh brand new they got me a throw out bearing brand new throw out bearing 57 dollars it's in here fits in pretty good looks a lot better than this old one but i made the executive decision and the uh, boys at napa agree with me that this is called the friction disc it's got the same amount of meat the new one does that i got from parts geek than uh, the old one does so i'm just going to use the old clutch and when those criminals at Parts Geek send me a shipping label, 
I will send them the new one back with the pressure plate. So there we go. All right, so we're all ready to go back in here. We uh, got the transmission on yesterday. We used our uh, new alignment tool we got from Amazon for $15. It aligned the friction disc in perfect, and I was able to slide the uh, transmission in and then get all the bolts tight. And uh, yeah, we're we're pretty much ready to go. Go back in. I got the farm all ready to go. Here's my loud, my loud neighbor with her truck. Uh, so we're gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna s set up the GoPro so we can uh, make a little video of uh, me dropping the tractor back. We're gonna jack it back up for a second. We're gonna take this air conditioner condenser and move it over here because there's no room once the engine's in there. And I had to get the, the low pressure line, which is this line. I need to get it over more center. She's back in. I gotta move her uh, back out of the way a little bit. It's too, a little too far forward, but I can do that with the jack. All right, another little hookup. If you can see the new motor, the exhaust manifold doesn't reach all the way down to the exhaust. This is the one off the uh, old motor. It's, it's uh, slightly longer down there. Usually things don't go this well for me. It's a rookie mistake for me not seeing this because I would have loved to do this job when that, before I put the motor back in, but all the all the bolts on the manifold just broke free. So I'm gonna zip them out, switch this over, just a delay for an hour. All right, we got uh, all the axles popped in. She's back on all four tires. And uh, yeah, we hooked the clutch back up. Of course we had no pedal so what i figured out it's just like brake caliper there's a bleeder here on this on the slave cylinder for the clutch you open that up and then this is where your reservoir is it's connected with the brakes so you just use a uh, brake fluid and i let it bleed let it run out and uh let the fluid run out should i say and we got a nice strong clutch now so Let's put all this back together, and I hope this car's running in an hour, hour and a half. You know, the cats are watching. There's Havoc. She's just taking a nap. And Jack's over there drinking water. Putting mices. All right, it's the moment of truth. It's been raining all morning, but I was working under this uh, tailgate and tent. We moved that out of the We're way. all fired up here, uh, ready to go. Well, we're about to fire her up. Uh, I had to change the starter out. Because the one of the wires wouldn't fit on that starter because it was a different there was a, a sensor in the back we had to change it change out um, because plug wouldn't fit in we're full of um, uh, power steering uh, we put the uh, old oil back in because there's literally like 300 miles on it on the last oil change um, throttles hooked up we got the air in transmission is full of a uh, full of oil because you just don't use oil because it's a manual transmission batteries tight uh yeah garden hoses there in case it explodes and uh, we got both the trucks in the front yard in case it uh in case it blows up it's the moment of truth let's go come on baby i bet it's the spark plugs I knew this would happen. We'd be fired up and going, and uh, I wouldn't be recording. Yeah. Let's see what she looks like. She's fired up and running. Woo! I didn't even change the plugs. I just said, let's try one more time before I change the plugs. Woo! She's running good. Uh, I see a little bit of smoke. 
stuff burning off there. He's running good. Holy shit. Damn. I don't know what that sound is. That doesn't sound too good though. That's not bad, it runs pretty good though. All right, we still got the engine light off. We figured out there's a programming issue between the VTEC solenoid and uh, this new motor. So I've been keeping it under 2000 RPMs. And if you look down here, we got uh, O2, which is okay. We're complete in uh, EVAP, but right above it is okay. That means we can uh, go to, uh, go through emissions. So we're going to uh, limper down to uh, Farm Care in Vernon. I like to go to TMB, but it's Veterans Day, and TMB is uh, closed for uh, emissions today. So let's uh, get down to Farm Care and try to get this through emissions. All right, looky here. Big pass. State of Connecticut, Acura RSX, still don't have a code on, but that's all right. We can drive her as fast as we want. Now, a uh, little car for, uh, little car with a cheap, cheap motor from, uh, with low miles. And uh, yeah, now we can uh, take her as far as we want and we can run her until that code comes on. So if you like this video, just uh, please hit like and subscribe. So like I was saying, we got a uh, nice little beater car. Uh, low mile, low, low mileage engine, and uh, hopefully she'll go for another 10 years, you know. So, uh, uh, like I said, make sure you uh, hit like and subscribe and uh, make some comments if you got any questions.